Last night in our monologue, we gave you a retrospective on just why President Trump was able to pull off a historic victory in last year's presidential race. In case you missed it, well, I called in a Fox News on election night to detail what the 2016 election was all about. Take you down memory lane. To me, this was predictable. But on the other hand, this is a, a modern-day political miracle you're witnessing before your eyes right now. And that is to go up against everybody and all the pundits and all the pollsters and all the prognosticators out there and defy all the odds. And it's the American people that have said enough is enough. They're tired of the corruption, the cesspool, draining the swamp. All of these things were resonating. You know, when you look at a state like Wisconsin, what are they saying? They want their jobs back. They want the labor participation rate to be lower. Uh, in other words, more people having jobs. Uh, they want America to be energy independent. They're tired of a horrible educational system. They're tired of Obamacare rates going through the roof. This is not complicated. What's happening now is not working. And these guys and Donald Trump has gone out there and he outworked Hillary Clinton and he put forward a much better agenda. And America said enough is enough with failed policies. That's what this election was about. All right. In November of 2016, the failed policies of President Obama were actively hurting this country. Remember, economic growth was anemic. Health care premiums, they went through the roof in spite of all the promises. Illegal, illegal immigration was impacting negatively communities all across this country. Taxes just too high. On January 20th, President Trump was sworn into office and immediately started the process to keep his promises and fix these problems. But while the president has been moving as what I call the speed of Trump, Congress, Republicans, they've been dragging their feet. The repeal and replace of Obamacare died in the United States Senate. Funding for the border wall postponed some of it. And now the Senate is planning to fundamentally alter President Trump's tax proposal. We learned earlier today the Senate plan will delay the best part of it, the corporate tax cut, until 2019? Really? Now, by the way, there are 300 bills that the House has passed that the Senate hasn't even picked up. There are nominees to the president's government that haven't even been, been confirmed at this point. If you're a member of Congress, and let's say you're watching this from your second home in the D.C. swamp, in the D.C. sewer, I want you to listen very closely. I do have a message for you spineless Republicans. If this delay goes to 2019, it will be rightly interpreted by the American people as a failure of you doing your job on a spectacular level. These tax cuts are crucial to American businesses. These tax cuts are crucial to getting good paying jobs from overseas, the repatriation money, spurring the economy, hopefully for decades to come. So it's time for senators like Mitch McConnell, John McCain, the others in the Senate, Stop lecturing us, the American people. It's time to get to work. I know you say the expectations have been too high. If this tax plan gets put off to 2019, you water this down, this failure will be on you. If the Republican Party gets trounced a year from now in the midterms, it won't be President Trump's fault, not going to be my fault, not going to be talk radio's fault, not going to be the Fox News Channel's fault. It's going to be your fault. Because you didn't have the courage, the vision, the backbone, the spine, the identity, the courage to put everything on the line for the people you're supposed to serve, the great people of this country, the forgotten men and women of this country, who this last election was all about. These are the people I have spoke about for the past year on food stamps, out of the labor force, in poverty. They're suffering. They don't have time to wait to 2019. Those that are having trouble buying their first home. Those are the people you're supposed to serve. You're supposed to be public servants. One year from now, if you lose your majority in the House, Senate, most specifically the Senate, you'll have nobody to blame but yourself. And you will all pay the price. And you'll have your colleagues pay the price at the polls next year, a year ago from, a year from now. It'll be your fault. Wake up or go home. That's my message. Best Sean. TikTok.